Hey guys, Alex Logan from Prod Productions, and today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, but today, we're going to learn how to make another cool intro. This is my third intro tutorial, so make sure to check out our other uh, tutorial collection, the playlist I've made, for other intro ideas if this one isn't uh, suitable for you. This is very similar to my first one, um, and it uses a bunch of the same techniques, but I thought I would just go ahead and make this one because it had a bunch of tips and tricks. Uh, the other one didn't include. So, here we go. This is what we're going to be making. Alright, let's get started. We're going to go to new. Um, I don't really need to save that. Uh, and I have a paper texture from Video Copilot's Riot Gear, which, no, I will not give you. No, I will not send you a download link. And yes, you do have to buy it. Glad we got that out of the way. That's the wrong one. Uh, let's drag in this one. There we go. I got a sneeze. Hold on. Uh. <coughs> okay, there it was. Oh, what a sneeze. All right, anyway, this has gotten way off topic. Okay, so we have our background layer. It's not right at all. <laughs> let's go to the event pan crop thing. Drag it in here. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Going to the rotation panel, clicking angle, and going... Oh, not 90, that's not good. 90. And then it cuts off because it's trying to keep the same width of the, the original. So we're going to go to main spake, maintain aspect ratio and click no. And there we go. It works. It's beautiful. Um, I'm going to make it a bit smaller just because I like the, I like it like that. And then, and then we're going to make a new, um, video track under insert video track and then we're gonna go to insert text media um, we're gonna type in bra productions <clears throat> excuse me um, now we're gonna pick your font pick whatever one you want make it special and unique and there we go I use freak out go bananas it's a great font um, now we're gonna go to effects and add shadow Try to add shadow to everything. I just think it makes things just look better, more realistic. Everything has shadows in the real world. Um, but yeah, so there's there's our basis. That's what, what we're going for is that exact scene. Now, to make it all spiffy, we're going to go to the Video Effects tab and go to Bump Map. Go to Spotlight Up Flat and drag it on both Bra Productions and our background. Um, now, on our background layer... We're going to pull the little dot down and then take the ambience up just a tad and then pull this little thing, whatever this is, um, up. I think it's like uh, intensity. So we can take ambience back down a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then pull that up. So it gives us a nice vignette on the sides um, for the background layer. Now for the video, we're going to click the event effects, and it'll take us back to this. Same thing, and we're just going to adjust this. You can you can always make this how you want. Uh, you can change the lights and stuff and all this. It's, it's very unique, um, but that'll do. Oh, wait. Totally forgot. Bump, bump height. Let's increase that a little bit to what you desire, and it'll give it a nice little uh, beveled 3D look. <clears throat> and that, that looks great so far. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a fade by dragging in the corner on our background. Go ahead and make it longer for the time being. Go to Transitions, Linear Wipe, and add a top left diagonal blend in. I like the diagonal rather than going in from the side because it's just unique. It's like so unexpected. And there we go. Now, we're going to animate the raw production slamming in and then f zooming out like in an action-packed film, right? And so we're going to go back to the event pan crop on the text layer. And you see position down here. Um, I'm in pro, which includes mask. Now, if you're in a movie studio, this mask thing will not be there. It's only for pro. But we don't have to worry about that because we're not going to use it. For position, you're going to, on the first keyframe... You're going to want, oh, that's rotation, control Z. Um, you're going to want to make it bigger, make it uh, about right there. 
Now we're going to go about a second into the, the intro, make it to what we just had it. Actually, you can probably make it a little bit bigger just because we're going to zoom out. There we go, like that. Um, go about half a second in. Actually, you probably need to be way longer than that. And just zoom in or let it zoom out a little bit. Go ahead and drag it to two seconds. Make the whole, that section a second long. And then this has to be shorter, so we're going to make this half a second. And then make it go out. There we go. Okay. Um, and then on these the two middle ones we just did, right click them and click smooth. This will make a nice, uh, easy uh, transition from fast to slow. Now we can check this out. We'll, um, we're definitely going to have to fix timing, uh, but that's easy. That actually looks pretty good. Um, it's a little slow, but it'll work. Actually, we'll just go ahead and make it a little bit faster. Um, just, just compressing all the keyframes in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks really good. So from there, we're going to drag this uh, from the corner and make a transition. And by clicking Alt, Control, Shift, and moving the wheel on your mouse, we can go frame by frame. And go, go frame by frame until the fast motion stops and it slows down and then end your fade there like that and then we're going to get from the from the back we're going to do the same thing so let's see it ends right about there so we're gonna make that smaller about right there and put another fade so now we have it fade in and then fade out as it goes away Looks really cool already, but we can make it even cooler. Um, I like to keep the back, the the end one, a fade. But for the first one, we can add a, a, a Gaussian blur, which we can go to Cross Effect under the Transitions tab and go to Cross Zoom A only. Because if not, it'll mix it up in the middle and just won't work. Let's pick A. A for Alex. Mm, that's awesome. And then if you watch it, blurs in, zooms out. What a great intro. Um, now, if you want to add like your title and then like presents, you know, ones after it, which I like a lot better than just having one, it's kind of boring, we can go to insert video track and just control Z. Oh, totally wrong one. I am stupid. All right. <clears throat> and we can just copy this layer by going uh, right clicking and clicking copy and then our new video layer clicking paste and you want a new copy not a reference copy because the reference copy just mimics uh, the, what you're copying and then new copy obviously makes a totally different copy so there we go and then you can drag this and just put the cross effect your first uh, transition in the middle of this back transmission transition on the other one I like how that flows because if you watch it it makes it, it, it just, it just looks cool. <laughs> it makes it kind of look like it's in a 3D space as well. So we can go ahead and line these up with the video. We'll shorten uh, our background layer, make it a little bit longer, and then add a fade to that. And then on this specific transition, I like to add a flash at the end, a hard flash, drag it on there. And I tend to do horizontal diffusions only because instead of just making it look like a, a white solid is being um, animated with opacity just in, it makes it blend into your background. Um, see how it's like it, it moves with the picture. I like it. Um, and then if we watch the whole thing, kind of slow. But, oh, I totally forgot we have to change the text on the second layer. So if you click click the generated media tab um, we can just drag this and put presents there we go now it says once again bra productions presents for bam you want to mess with me i didn't think so 
So that's basically it. You can add your own sound effects. This would be this intro being black and white and stuff would look great for a film noir uh, type video. If not, you can use a different background. Just be creative with it, and you can make uh, cool things. You can add in some s intense hits when Broad Productions and Presents comes in, um, or your title, whatever it is, and then add in some fast-paced action music in the background. It would be great if you have a war video or an action movie. Um, and then you can add in slow music and some uh, some some video noise under video effects. And you can make it look old timey, and that looks pretty good too, with the black and white. Either way, it's very uh, versatile, and it can make your videos awesome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope this helped. Um, make sure to check out our other tutorials. Um, they're great. We have a bunch of different stuff. We're also coming out with a bunch of new videos. Uh, make sure to check them out. Hope this helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, friend request us please and please subscribe that'd be awesome also i have a shout out to mark lawrence of com films they make some cool stuff check them out i have a link in the sidebar it's youtube.com slash com films all right cool see you guys later